Hi, this is Michelle with Michelle's Macarons, and today we're going to talk about egg white powder and meringue powder in your macarons. If you haven't already and you want to make macarons, go watch this video and I'll show you step by step how to make macarons. And then there's this video on how to make the meringue and this one on how to do the macronage. So if you're having trouble and you don't even know what I'm talking about, egg white powders, you have so many other problems, go watch all of those videos first, then come back and check this out. So first, what is egg white powder? It's literally just powdered egg whites. So it's pasteurized, powdered, dried egg whites. You can buy it at Whole Foods, Amazon. I think maybe, I don't know if Joann's has egg white powder. I know they have meringue powder, so you can get it there. Now, meringue powder, what is that? So that is also pasteurized powdered egg whites, dried, but usually it includes other stuff like cornstarch, sugar, sometimes like vanilla, citric acid, stuff like that. And it's usually used for making royal icing. So if you haven't already, this video shows you how to make royal icing and how to use it on your macarons. And we use meringue powder in that recipe. You can't just use egg white powder to completely substitute regular egg whites in your macarons. You know what? That would be a fun video to do, to make the egg whites, like take dried egg whites, add the water back in and make them into like egg whites and see if we can make a macaron with that. Let me know if you wanna see that in a video, that could be fun. A lot of people will use it in their meringue when they're making the meringue for their macarons. It helps to stabilize the meringue and kind of avoid hollows. Nicole from Baked Du Jour's talks a lot about that and I think maybe in her recipe she uses egg white powder, but only a little. She's still using the regular egg whites, the ones from the actual egg. I mean, these are from an actual egg too, but, but that's something you could do for hollows if you have hollows and you wanna try that out. If you're enjoying this video, hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it to be notified whenever I come out with a new video. Now, some people in the Facebook group, almost everyone says egg white powder, not meringue powder, they can't be switched. But there's been some people that say they use it anyway, the meringue powder, and it's fine. So what I'm thinking happens there is they didn't really need the egg white powder for the hollows in the first place, so adding a little of the meringue powder didn't hurt it, but maybe it didn't help it. So I would stick with egg white powder. Now we asked in the Facebook group how much and the consensus was three to four grams for every hundred grams of egg whites. So three to four grams of egg white powder for every hundred grams of wet egg whites. A lot of people then said they will use it, they'll add it to the meringue or add it to the sugar before they add it to the meringue. So you're not gonna add it into the dry ingredients and then add it later after your meringue is already whipped up. You'll add it either with your wet egg whites or with the sugar that you put into the egg whites. I would suggest putting it into the egg whites with it and then adding the sugar. Now, someone asked, will egg white powder affect the colors of my macarons? So it's usually just like a white, maybe slightly off white, so that wouldn't affect it. Um, if your macarons are discolored, I think we have a video on, yeah, browning macarons, so go watch that. That, would, that wouldn't be from the egg white powder. Usually that would be from maybe your oven temperature and stuff. So yeah, egg white powder can be added to, I don't add it to mine, but a lot of people that have hollows or maybe they just feel like their meringue isn't stable when they're whipping it up and it's kind of not really working out like they want it to, they will add a little bit of egg white powder and that will help with the hollows. Also, some people for hollows, well, this is this video is not really about hollows. Go to that video if you want. But some people add cornstarch. Cornstarch to help with the hollows and to help them dry quicker if they're in like a really humid climate. But that can kind of affect the texture. So it might cause them to dry out a little more than after you've baked them. So they might not be as moist as if you hadn't used the cornstarch, which is not a bad thing with macarons. Because sometimes if you use cornstarch, then it might kind of dry the macaron out and you don't always want that. It may not be hollow and they'll dry quicker before you bake them, but then after you eat them, they might be crunchy and just kind of dry. Okay, and if you want to start selling your macarons or any baked goods, join the email list below and I have a course called the Home Bakery Blueprint where you can work with me and we go step by step how to start and grow your own home bakery business. Okay, so if you haven't already, join the Facebook group 
and you have to answer a couple membership questions. There's a bit of a wait right now just because we're trying to accept everyone in there. So be patient. It might be a week or two before you get in, but answer the membership questions. And when you get in, you can ask any question you have about macarons, post your pictures. If you are having trouble with your macarons, post pictures of every step along the way, and then we will all help you out. I think there's like 15,000 people in there right now. All macaron bakers, isn't that fun? So everyone will help you. And they're very nice. And if you'd like, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'll put those links in the description. Okay, check out these other macaron videos. Okay, love you, bye. I just kicked the tripod. <laughs>